How's it going guys? Today I got my hands on a Samsung Galaxy S21 for a little bit and I just want to give you my first impressions. Now I'm not going to go over the specs or anything because I think that's boring so I'm going to put them up on the screen or something but yeah let's talk about hardware first. Now for the design, I already love how it looks like over the S20 already. I'm a fan of that matte finish and I like how on the edges, the glossy look makes it even more premium. I think the new camera design is also pretty sleek. It really blends with the edge so it looks like it's an overall well-finished design. Compared to the S20, it looks like they're just a rectangular camera bump on the back so it doesn't look as elegant. Now for the quality itself, in my hands, it feels like the S20 FE. So for me, I feel like this part is pretty subjective. I like the feel of the matte finish, so I would prefer that over the glass. But some people do like that glossy glass feel. So obviously, I'm not a fan of that glossy glass, so I'm gonna pick the matte finish over that any day. For the size, even though this is the smallest out of the bunch, the S20 Plus and S20 Ultra, I would say that it feels pretty big in my hands. It's not overly big like the Ultra, but it's the biggest phone size I would use. And this is coming from a person with small hands that prefer compact phones. This year, there are four colors, black, white, pink, and violet. And out of the bunch, the violet one sticks out the most to me. So if you want to be more flashy or if you want someone to look over at your phone, then the violet one is the way to go. But there is that all matte black finish, which is not a bad choice either. For me, I feel like that's more of my style or people who like something more minimal and kind of under the radar. For the new features, they do have the new processor, but if you're a casual user like me, this phone will last you for like years. But the feature that sticks out the most to me is the new director's mode in the camera app. In this mode, you can already see all three camera angles on your screen. I think this is a great tool to have when you want to switch your lenses while you're recording, you can just reframe it first and then switch into it. Also, you can use the front-facing camera as well so you can capture your reaction and then whatever's in front of you. So this is going to be a great tool for the vloggers and creators out there. Is it worth upgrading? It's really hard to tell now, but I think if you're coming from the S20, I don't think it's worth it unless you really like the director's mode and if you're going to take advantage of it. Because I'm not sure if Samsung will bring the director's mode into their older phones. Or if you really like the new design, the colors, and the matte touch feel. Now, if you're coming from the S10 or older, I would say it's easier to recommend to upgrade, especially if your phone is acting up, it's getting slow on you, or the battery isn't lasting as long. And for the S10e users out there, I know that you love the size of the phone. I'm pretty sure you don't want to let it go because you love Samsung and you like the size. So I hope Samsung will come up with some sort of compact phone design with updated specs. So you guys can expect more Galaxy S21 videos from me once I get my hands on one. Please subscribe if you guys don't want to miss out on any of those videos. Also, it would be helpful if you guys can give a like and share on this video as well. And don't forget, you can find me on Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.